Hello everybody, this is Howl of Howl's Domain and welcome back to Monster Hunter World! We're gonna be hunting down the first Wyvarians or whatever, Wyverians or whatever the hell they're called. But it's mainly just gonna be looking for them. Yay! Where the fuck are you all farts at? Holy shit, do I literally have to explore this entire fucking map just to find one of them? Oh boy, this is gonna be fun! Aren't you all excited? Yay! Fuck you! I don't need those fucking footprints, dog god damn it! Wait, oh no, those are cats. Nope, back it up, back it up, back it up, back that booty up, back that booty up. Bring me that ass! Okay, I'll probably just cut when I finally actually find one. I should have just done this off camera, but no. I thought this was gonna be fun. We we're gonna find him in like two seconds, and we're gonna get some good story. But fucking no! He has to hide! God, where do I look? Wait. Oh, you little bastard, I found you, you little bitch. I'm coming for you, motherfucker. The fuck? Bitch, please. Of course, I was running around like a chicken with his head cut off, so she probably did beat me here. Damn it. Who would have thought it'd be up here at the Rathian Nest? The Rathalos Nest, or whatever it's called. Now, don't tell me. This is actually the first encounter where I'm supposed to fight a Rathios. Omen flies, animals, all running because the apex predator is here! I've killed, I think, three of you? I can kill another one. Bring it, bitch. Well, things went from boring to exciting real quick. Oh, don't you just look so badass. Too bad you don't stand a chance. <laughs> oh, so do I not have to fight it? We slip slide. Oof. <laughs> Old fart. Speak. Speak to us. Yes? You wish to know where you may find the dragon with a mountain of fire upon its back? Hmm. I possess that knowledge, but you are not yet worthy. Only one who stands at the top of the food chain. Only once you have conquered the fire wyvern and horned wyvern, and you have descended upon the forest and the waste. Only then will you be worthy. I've hunted both of those motherfucker. Don't you dare tell me I gotta hunt another one. I guess we're supposed to hunt those two monsters. Arrgh. I have the fucking boots to prove it. I have the fucking armor plate to prove it. Motherfucker, get your damn eyes checked. Old shithead. I will take out that Rath Rathalos, or Rathios, or whatever the fuck it's called, and then I will go hunt down one of the Diablos, ugh, kick its ass, and then I'm gonna shove the Diablos horn up your ass! Hello, big bastard! I'm here to fucking murder your face off! Eh, where's a slidey spot? Where's a slidey spot? Motherfucker, god damn it, fuck it! Die, bitch! 
Ow, my ears. Fuck you. You gonna be landing? No, you're gonna be a bitch. Okay. Whoa! Hey, don't hurt Dusk. No, you don't, bitch. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. And fuck you, motherfucker. Give me a slidey spot. Oh, that ain't good. Whoa! 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 Holy shit! Fuck you, motherfucker! Oh, God, no! <laughs> Bitch. I actually killed one of the Rathios by doing this. The fall, the impact of the fall actually killed him. Seriously, what the fuck? Oh, I have to press the B button to do this. Ugh. Fuck you! <laughs> Oh, did I piss you off? Poor widow thing. Hey, get back here, you fucking bastard. Huh, this'll work out to my advantage, though. Hello, fucker. Care to meet my friend, Mr. Toad? Mr. Toad, can you talk to this guy for me? I know you have a stunning personality. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Eh, uh, bad joke. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no! You bitch! You sassy bitch! You sassy fucking bitch! God, that's accurate. Ugh. Fuck me! Ready for the wind-up? And the hit! Boom! It's out of the park! Woo! Hello, bitch! Motherfucker! Bitch! Yoo-hoo! Ah, oh, shit. Come on, look this way. Ah, oh, fuck. Too close. Bitch! Oh, la, 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 la. Motherfucker! Bitch, get on the ground! Fuck you! Come on, little guys, get that ivy trap going! Fuck yeah! Get him, kitty cats, get him! Hello, big and thathy! Oh, okay. Good, this will make this a lot easier. Alright. What I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can do a sliding motion. If I can, then good. Come on. Nope. Okay, one big hit. Oh, fuck, I didn't expect it. That's it. The fuck? Oh. That was anticlimactic. I did it! Yay! Who knew that the bombs would have finished it off? I was just hoping the bombs would make that battle shorter. It really did. It fucking blew his head off, pretty much. Look at that big fella. Look at him. One thing I always used to do, back when I was on Monster Hunter Try, I used to take a big old picture of a new kill that I got. Every single time I get my phone, I take a picture, and it, I would take a picture right beside the monster that I killed, showing off the hunt that I done. Just a little bit of info for y'all. <laughs> Alright, so we just need to return back now. Alrighty, I guess we'll make this a longer episode, or I'll have to edit it down. If he goes in Area 8 and doesn't go underground, then he's screwed from the start, because if he's up top... I can fuck his shit up real bad with all those slopes. Be funny if the cutscene on here for the Diablos is actually me encountering a Baroth on the uh, sand dunes and then it falling in and the thing finding it. Here we go. What the hell? What are you? Oh. 
hear those birds. Called it. Called it. I called it. The Baroth is probably going to fall through that pit. Oh, goodness. He's going to fall through that pit. Baroth, why did you have to piss them off? You don't even eat them. Oh, God. Knew it. Called it. He's dragging him down with him. Oh, God, and me too. Climb, you little bitch. Climb. Oh, fuck. Please tell me my allies are still here with me. If not, then this is going to be fucked up. Ooh, where's the Baroth body? Oh, there it is. Well then. I think I'm truly f Oh, God. Hello there! I've killed a few of your cousins! You wanna be next? Keep looking me in the face and you'll be next, motherfucker! I'm shoving your horn up your own ass! Oh, my eardrums. Oh, here we go. It, uh, the thing left me. Dang it. Hold up, hold up, hold up. No! Fuck you. No! You don't get to do that, bitch! Alright, come on. Over here. Over here. You dumb kids get up my doing? property! Get out of here. No, you don't. I don't give a damn, you are not getting any of that. And hey, I broke one of your horns. And now I stunned you. Let's break another one, bitch. This next one's gonna go up your ass. Oh, never mind, not a big enough piece. <laughs> oh shit, oh shit. Ow, oh, fuck. Surprise, motherfucker. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Yeah, God. Face me, bitch. There we go. And the wind up. Woo! Oh, fuck. You sassy bitch. No! Why? Stop it! Stop it, stop it, stop it, you stupid bitch! Oh, fuck. Hey, let me bash your tail. Oh, God. Oh, he's running. Good. Get up to those sand dunes and let me kick your ass even more. Shit, 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 shit! Ow, fuck. <laughs> I ate a freaking mouthful of sand there. <laughs> toro, Toro, Toro! Ole! Oh god, get out of my way! A little while. Hello! You stay right there, buddy. You have no idea where I'm at. You are blind. So just stay there, be a good boy, and take your fucking lumps! Motherfucker! No! Son of a bitch! Fuck, fuck, fuck me! Fuck me! Oh god, thank goodness he went after the performer. Ow! I just ran into that one. Son of a bitch. Shit. Oh, Fuck me! Doing a little bit of Grandpa Howler there. Now hold still while I do this! Bitch! Fuck you, motherfucker! You want a piece of me? Oh shit. Aw, oh, is somebody already limping? Too fucking bad, motherfucker! He got away. Shit. Shit! 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 Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. And a fuck are you. Got him.
And it did. So I didn't even have to waste my barrel bombs. It would have finished him off though, because that was literally like little to nothing for damage left over. So the barrel bombs would have done it again. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Hunter rank 10 just for doing that. Oh, why thank you. I actually need to get up to Hunter rank 11 because I recently seen on Amino, which is not sponsor sponsoring this video, I actually wish I could get a sponsor as them them as a sponsor. But <laughs> words not going right. I wish I could get them as a sponsor, but I'm not that big yet. Our pack isn't that big yet, y'all. Soon they might. Well, I won't even say soon. <laughs> Maybe they will later on down the road. Who knows? Oh, we're already back here. Okay. You, you have ascended to the apex and proved yourself. Now you may know the secret of the dragon that carries a mountain of fire on its back. The dragon wove hovers on the brink of death, but the light of life is calling to it, drawing it away from its proper grave. It has wandered into the ever stream and lost its way. Now it stands poised, poised to perish there, brimming with fury, fiery life bringing energy. The Everstream connects every corner of this land like the veins of a beating heart. Should the dragon succumb to death there, its glut of energy will hurtle through these veins, setting them afire and searing the land to ash and scorched earth. That is the dragon's secret that shall be this land's fate. Nature's course cannot be swayed. I think it was our fault. Yeah. Thanks to the fifth fleet's diligent efforts, we've learned a number of things. One, that Zora Magros is heading to the Everstream. Two, that upon its death, it'll release the bioenergy it has stored. And three, that the Everstream is connected to every corner of the new world. So, if Zora dies inside the Everstream, its bioenergy will blast us all to hell. Come on, now. The Commission should make evacuation its first priority. I'll tell my sister to prepare her airship. There's no time. We don't have any choice but to take down Zora Magdaros. But knowing ourselves to oblivion is not what we're trying to do. Correct. And the whole reason we're here is to study the beast's role in the ecosystem, not erase it from the ecosystem. Ooh, let's hear it. How? Yes, sir. I did a little digging, and the Everstream borders the ocean, right? So if we can lure Zora Magdaros out onto the open water... We can mitigate the blast. And the bioenergy released would start a whole new ecosystem in the ocean. Life would go on. Need I remind you, sir? But we're currently short on supplies from our attempt to capture it. And even if we had enough supplies, what kind of weapon could get that thing to change its course? Don't worry. I have a plan. A very big plan. Is that what I think it is? Oh, oh now we're talking! <coughs> Dragonator. What, are you going to ram a ship into it? Oh dear God, I called it. Excellent. Just the weapon we need to drive Zora Magdaros out to sea. Hunters, it's time. Complete your preparations with speed. Make your way to the Everstream. I'll explain the details on site. We can do this. We must do this. Right. The Sapphire Star light our way. Now, get moving. Right. All right. 
That's going to be an episode, everybody. We get to go and face Zora Magdros again. <laughs> but thank you all so much for watching this episode. Please leave a like. Comment down below what you thought of this episode. Subscribe to join the pack. And as always, everybody, have a howling good time. Arr!